Hi, I'm Brenna. I'd like to do two things with my time here tonight. I'd like to give some thanks and get you to do some pro bono work. First, the thanks. Thank you to Erin, my dear friend, for presenting me with this award. Erin is not only an incredible friend, but she's my partner in getting things done. Thank you, of course, to my co-honorees, who are astounding, amazing, and incredible in their work. Thank you to the Vols Board for creating the LEAD Award. I'll have a long list of nominees for you to consider next year from the ranks of the Association of Pro Bono Counsel and in-house legal departments. Thank you to the Vols staff and attorneys who make doing pro bono possible in a safe and responsible way. And thank you to all of you who are listening in tonight. Supporting Vols right now is the right thing to do. Thank you to Bob Sheehan, a longtime Vols board member and also a champion of my career and a dear friend who clued me in very early on to the fact that Vols was an organization that I needed to be involved with. And to Boris Burstian, who's taken on Bob's role on the board, a very lucky catch for Vols. Thank you absolutely to my firm, Skadden, to our pro bono team, and to our volunteers who make good on our promise that pro bono is the responsibility of every single lawyer. And thank you to Eric Friedman for leading our firm in that effort. Of course, the biggest thanks to Marsha Levy for her over a decade of mentorship to me, which has been generous and graceful and important, and for her leadership of Vols, and for thinking that I was worthy of this honor. And of course, thank you to my four children, Owen, Noah, Grayson, and Rosie, and my husband, David, for caring about my work and for making the world a kinder place. So every time I have the chance to have people listen to me about why they should give up their time and their service and their skills, I think about what's the most important thing you could hear from me right now. Here's where I am on that. We are in an extraordinary moment. We are in an extraordinary moment of possibility. We got here through tremendous pain and quite a lot of bravery. This is a moment where lawyers have to dig into their responsibility and where all of us have to dig into our humanity. But let me be clear, we are not in an extraordinary moment because the world has never seen horrify, horrifying disease. And we're certainly not in this moment because racism is new. However, we are in a moment where we are all aware that we are long overdue to make good on the notion that the moral arc of the universe needs to bend toward justice and that the scales of justice are tipping in the right direction. And they're tipping because of the gravity of the protesters and the people who are raising their voices and telling us, now is the time, now is the time we must do the right thing. What you do matters. Pro bono matters, the law matters, vols matters, and now is the time to collaborate, to do work that addresses the symptoms and manifestations of racism, and also to get at its roots. Now is the time to collaborate, to do work to help underserved communities and individuals who are struggling with the immediate and ripple effects of COVID-19. What you do matters. What VALS does matters. And VALS has been helping all of us to do what matters for 35 years. So, I hope that you'll take a minute, or maybe more than a minute, to think about what do you have to give? And if I can be helpful in that, I want to be helpful in that. But please, take a minute and think about what do you have to give? What could you do? And give that. Do that. Thank you.